are back. And against my better judgment, we have allowed a nine-year-old to dictate the terms of this project. We are building a soapbox race car from parts of stuff that was in my garage. So with the help of my son, we've disassembled this bike carrier, turned it into a seat with two wheels on it and a roll cage. And we've cut up an old tricycle with help from our next door neighbor. We welded on the handlebars to the back wheels, kind of the back axle. And we're gonna try to make a soapbox race car and race it down a hill. Now that we have all the metal parts for our race car, before we lay out the frame, the body of the car, I think we need to kind of complete our front steering system and axle. To do that, we are going to take a piece of hardwood, in this case, very hard maple, and we are going to run the maple through our front axle into our tires because we need to make the front end of our car a little bit wider so it doesn't tip over. So let's come up with a way to do this right now. I first took the piece of maple, cut it in half, and inserted it into the steering portion of the tricycle. After that, I marked out the location of holes, and I used a cordless drill with a high-speed twist bit to drill the holes. Once the holes are drilled, I inserted bolts, washers, nuts, drilled the other side, did the same thing, and then tightened everything down. Before we go any further, I thought we should take a minute to talk about why we use maple here to extend the front of our soapbox car. Why did I use maple? Why didn't I use the pine that we normally use in the wood shop? Well, to answer that question, we're gonna do a quick experiment. Now, this is not going to be the most scientific experiment, but you'll get the general idea. So what I've done is cut out three pieces of wood. They're all the exact same size. I have a piece of pine, just like the pine we normally use. It's an eighth of an inch thick. I have a piece of maple, just like the maple we used for the front of our soapbox car. It's also an eighth of an inch thick. And then I have a piece of eighth inch plywood. This is birch plywood. It's an eighth of an inch. So remember, plywood is different than normal wood because it has really thin pieces of wood that are glued together with the grain growing, going crosswise. What we're gonna do is test the strengths of these wood. So we've got our special little coffee can stands here. I'm gonna take a piece of pine. I'm gonna set it on the coffee can so the ends come to the ends of the coffee cans. We'll go just like that. And we're gonna place something heavy in the middle here. I happened to find this fire extinguisher on the wall, so we'll use that. I'm going to put it in the middle, I'm going to let go, and we'll see what happens with the pine. Huh. All right. Pine can hold it. Let's try our maple. Maple can hold it. Do you notice a difference in the amount of deflection that was there? By deflection, I mean how much it's sagging. Did you notice a difference? And then let's check our plywood, our birch plywood. All right, let's try something a little bit heavy. Okay, we've got something a little heavier. This is a 25 pound box of screws. Some of the screws are missing. It's probably about, I'd say it's about 20 pounds. So let's start with our pine. Let's see what happens. Here, you can see there's quite a bit of deflection. Okay, let's try our maple. Five pounds or 20 pounds still bending it's not breaking 
can see the loop is a lot stronger than the pipe. Plywood. We'll see what happens with this birch plywood. Okay, I'm gonna hold the cans in place. Oh. So our maple was actually stronger even than the plywood. We're using this wood for the front of our go-kart because it's so strong. So there really is a difference in the strength of different woods depending on the species. Maple is considered a hardwood. Hardwood is usually much, much stronger than a softwood like pine or cedar or redwood. So that's why we're using maple on the front of our soapbox car. When you guys come back tomorrow, we'll cut out the bottom of our soapbox car. See you then.